Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm really excited today to show you and share with you and review with you this gorgeous wig. Isn't it stunning? So this wig is called Candice. It's long Candice in Nutmeg F Blonde. It's like a blonde with a little hint of red through it, which I absolutely love. And this is from Godiva Secret Wigs. So I just love everything about this wig. Now I haven't adjusted anything on this wig. I haven't cut it. I haven't like cut the bang in. I've just left her as she is. And she is beautiful. And as you can see today, I've just put her up where I've just put a couple, a couple of bobby pins in, you know, a couple of clips just to hold back the fringe. Because if I take down the fringe, she's beautiful. But when I'm talking, she can go in your mouth, okay? Just how I've got it today. Now, if I was going out in this and wearing this, and I have worn this out, I've worn it out to the theatre. I went to see Grease at the theatre in this wig. I would put some wig spray on, you know, just some wig hairspray just to keep the fringe back like that. Or I might decide to give it a different party, maybe party over at the site, because the beauty about Candice wig is... She is a machine teased wig. She's got that gorgeous height so you can bump her up. But you can also part her wherever you want. So if I wanted to just change the parting right now, I can. And then obviously this type of parting takes it straight out of my face. And doesn't that look pretty? So this is such a gorgeous wig. So it is a rooted wig as you can see. Got the dark roots down. It looks very natural. And this is great for me being a natural brunette because when I like wearing blonde and when I want to wear blonde, it kind of fits me better. You know, it creates the illusion that it suits my face. And being a brunette as well, sometimes when I put a blonde wig on, it's a bit strange to me. I'm like, wow, is that really me in the mirror? But with the darker roots, it fits so well. And it creates the illusion, you know, it shows you that it goes. It's so natural. And I just love how this one parts, you know, because... All the wigs, even though you may receive this wig, it may part differently. You may want it to go a, a different way. So you can get such different looks from just playing with the wig. So candy is just a very natural feel. There's a lot of hair, but it's very light. It's not like the Amazon wigs. You know, let me just get this hair out of my face. You know, it's not like the Amazon wigs that are long wigs but the heavy wigs you know you feel like you've got a wig on it, it makes you feel tired and lethargic because you've got a lot of hair pulling your head down these wigs are so natural and so light it's like having your own hair so and she feels like your own hair you know when I run my fingers through candies it's very hair like you know and that's why I love playing with her sometimes I love touching her because she's just a big a big matter hair and I love it and, you know, there are natural cutting points in this wig. If this is too much hair for you, remember they do the thin candies. They do the thin candies too. In fact, I've got one close by. Let's get it and compare it, shall we? Let me grab thin candies. I know I've definitely got a close by. So this is thin candies in the same colour. Now, I've only recently acquired Thin Candice in this colour, so, and in this style, so I haven't even put wig clips in it yet, so it's still brand new. All I've done is put on the, the label what it is, so I can show you the difference between Candice and Thin Candice, because this is Long Candice, so she just says Candice and then in brackets and on their website it says Long Candice, but you can see the difference between this Candice and the Thin Candice, because Thin Candice is the same kind of wig, but less hair. There's a lot of hair on this wig, but there are natural cutting points. So if you wanted to cut some of the length off, you know what, you could perhaps cut it there, perhaps cut it there, maybe even there, you know, to keep the style. Maybe you even want to cut it into like a little bob, you know, coming in there. So there's easily things you can do, whether you want to cut it yourself or take it to the hairdressers. You could cut a bang into this if you wanted to as well, you know, whatever you were guided to do. But for me personally... I love this wig because of the colour and the style, the way it is. So, yes, there's a lot of hair, but, <clears throat> you know, I'm going to just let it do its own thing. Just be careful when it's around your face. You don't talk and get it in your mouth because you, you can eat the hair, which I've just nearly done. That's why I'm coughing. So, with candies then, let me show you the length. So, I'm just going to get the mirror. And I'm going to do a little short video with this on where I just kind of show you the back and standing up, swivel around. So you can see the side, how it looks here. Very natural, 
and you can see the length at the back so she has a very very long wig you know very long wig you can also see the gorgeous color from the top you know this i mean i'll just put it a bit differently if i was parting it there but you can see the rooted color you know going down here we just make it like that you know you can see the rooted color so it's just very very natural especially on a brunette like me so there are wigs that you can get you know this candice wig you can get in colors that are non rooties but for the blondes, I do prefer the rooted colours. And isn't she gorgeous? And I've sewn three wig clips into this. Two at the front and one at the back. So this is Candice. So nice. I don't want to take her off. But before I do, let me show you what you can do with Candice. So, you know, you can easily put it up and down. So you can put a bit round your face. Let me take my earrings off because, you know, whenever I'm doing this with earrings on, I always pull them or get them stuck in my wig when I'm playing with the wig. So if I was going to put this up, I perhaps put it up like that. I mean, doesn't that look pretty straight away? You could have it up and down. You know, just use like a claw clip. I'm just seeing if I've got one here, but it's upstairs. But you just put a claw clip in, keep it like that. Or you could pull it over to the side and put a low ponytail in it like this. Very natural. You know, just very natural, very pretty. Perhaps put a plait in it. Because it's so natural, it's like messing around with your own hair. I mean, look at that. I mean, I just love plaits, you know. That looks very pretty. I look very Swedish like this. So it's just a very pretty wig. And, you know, if you're getting your little brush and, you know, you just brush it through like your own hair. You know, she may need a brush if you're going outside because you get in and the rain or the wind or the sun, it's all been on your wig. So it can make it a little bit matty, but they don't get matted much at all. And especially if you store them right. I mean, obviously, if you're throwing your wigs on the floor and, you know, mixing them up with other wigs, you're going to, you know, they're going to need a bit of work to get them into this kind of style. But this wig, you know, it's just been kind of sitting in my drawer in the bag. So here's my bag, candy and nutmeg F. So I know what it is. I just put a label on. And when I'm not wearing it, I just take it off, turn it inside out, like this candy here, and put it in the bag. Very powerful. So isn't it a gorgeous wig? So let's take her off then. So I'm just going to put my thumb underneath the top of the wig. And I'm going to unclip it. And unclip the back. And take her off. And there she is. So she's got a lot of hair. You can see how long the wig is. Look at the gorgeous colour. It's like a blonde with a hint of red in. So it's very, very pretty. When you first get candies, get your brush and give her a brush through the top. I'm not going to do it because I've got it in the part and I want. But just brush her out because she's been travelling to you. And it just kind of makes all the hair free flowing. And then it will go how it, how it wants to fall. Or it'd be much easier for you when you brush these to get it into the kind of parting or style that you want. So she's a very beautiful wig and this colour's gorgeous. This is probably one of my favourite blondes. I love the vanilla bean and the button-up blondes. But I also love this gorgeous nutmeg F. And, you know, if the, with the wigs I like, this is the colour I want it in. So if I turn it inside out, actually before I do that, let me just close the wig clips that I've just opened. Now I've sewn them in. So I'm just going to turn her over now. The thing about Candice is... When you turn it inside out with the cap, let me just move all this hair, I've got it clipped into the wig clips. When you turn it inside out, it looks like a big wig, you know, and you think, is that really an average size cap? Because it looks huge, but it isn't, it's just because there's a lot of hair. So at the back, you've got the gorgeous wefting where it's all breathable, you put your fingers through, you've got the label so you know exactly where to put it on, and you've got bra strap type adjusters which can make it looser or, you know, more snug to the back of your neck. At the front of the wig, it's all machine tees, so, you know, you can boof it up and do what you want, and it feels very nice. You can feel the work that's gone into this wig. And I just sewed clips in. Let me just move all that. What I've done is I've trapped the hair in the wig clips because I didn't, like, clasp them shut straight away. There's a bit of cotton hanging off as well, which is my bodge job at sewing wig clips in. So I'll have to cut that off too. But you can see I've put two at the front and one at the back. Now two would possibly have been enough, but I've put another one there for added security. So that's Candice. Now let's just show you a thing, Candice. Now I am going to do a separate review video on this because she's so beautiful. She deserves her own video. But you can see the difference. So first of all, if I put 
one candice inside out and our whole thing candice you can see the difference so you can see that long candice has way more hair than thin candice but this is the same color this is not mega it's the same color and it's the same you've got that gorgeous breathable wafting same front so i'm gonna put her on and show you the difference so this isn't to review this wig this is just for me to show you the difference so look straight away it, there's no, not as much hair it's the same length as the other one but there's not as much hair and she's also got like a natural bang so it's like a little wispy bang if i show you like this but also you know it's it kind of goes over to the side very well you just pull it up to my hairline it would help so my intention when i bought this wig because you've seen my other thin candices which gives you a good indicator of how they cut my other thin candices i've cut to there which is a natural cutting point and i've put bang it but with this one that was my intention but because i like it so much the way it is I'm actually going to keep it the way it is. I'm not going to do anything to this wig. I'm just going to sew wig clips in. And I may buy another one at some point, possibly around Christmas time, to put that bang in. Because I don't want to put a bang in. Not that I don't want to spoil it, because you can't really spoil these wigs, however they look, they look nice. But I do like it like this too. So I love that I've got the option of having the big candies or the thin candies, which is really beautiful. So isn't this a gorgeous wig too? but i'm going to be reviewing this one in more depth soon i just wanted to put it on so i can show you the difference between long candies and thin candies isn't it interesting i love how they've done that so to put on long candies i'm just going to prep my hair so again this is my hair it does feel like it's growing back a little bit as well even though it's a tiny little bob so i'm going to put a band in like this and i'm going to tie it around three times so one two very low pony and on the third one i'm going to put a little bun at the back to anchor the wig and then i'm putting it straight onto my hair i'm not putting a cap on or you know a wig cap i'm not putting a hairband on because of the clips so i'm going to turn it the right way around and unclip it and then i'm going to grab this one here just unclip that one too i'm going to put my thumbs where the label is and i'm going to put the front of the wig about there and i'm going to pull it over now if you've got wig clips in they may dig in your head a little bit until you adjust your wig, until you pull it up. So just be prepared for that. So do it fast. So I'm going to pull the wig over, pull, put my hair in, and pull it up and get the ear tabs and make sure they are straight, flick it up, and then pull it up to my hairline. Very simple. And then I'm going to find, yep, yeah, that's my hairline. So I'm just going to snap them in. And then I'm going to find the one at the back and snap that in too. So she goes in very, very easily. So you could easily wear her like this. You know a bit fly away if you wanted to or do what i do and get my brush and just lightly brush it through and it gives you that gorgeous you know lustrous effect i think this is like a lion wig you know it's like having a mane of gorgeous hair you know so you just get away you want it and then if i turn around and show you the back so this is the side and this is the back you can see just how long she is and how far down my back she goes. So she's just a really gorgeous, sexy, sassy style. So she's great for night time if you're going to an event. If you're going somewhere, wedding, you know, a nice party, something wonderful, going out for a drink or two, going on a date, going out with your twin flame. Or she's great for the day, you know, but in the day you can do what I did. So I, all I did was, I've got the clips here, just little bobby pins. I just grabbed my hair. And I just put a little bit up. It doesn't take long at all, Luke. It just takes two minutes. Grab the hair, put it up. And the thing is, even though she's not a lace front, because it's a rooted wig, it, it's very natural to me. You know, it looks right. It doesn't look fake or weird because I'm a natural brunette. Because of the rooted colour in this nutmeg F, it matches. So it's beautiful. Isn't that pretty? And this is how I'm going to wear my hair today. So I've been wearing this wig all day on my other channel, Guided by Angels. <clears throat> Maybe you flick over there and think, well, you haven't worn that wig on this day, Liz. But what I do is I record my videos over on my other channel and then I record these wig videos and then I'll schedule them for a bit later. So, but I, I have worn this today. I mean, it's, well, it's nearly quarter to 12. I've been up since six and I've been wearing this wig. 
And I intend to continue to wear this wig throughout the day, whether we go out, the weather's nice or do something wonderful. So this is Candice, long Candice or Candice with long in brackets from Good Iris Secret Wigs in the beautiful colour Nutmeg F. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.